Hi, my name is Paul Bobrowski, and I'm running for town council in District 5. Um, my wife, Abby Korn, and I moved back here with our young family in the late 90s. And our two sons, Evan and Tim, went through the public school system here. They went through Crocker Farm. They went through the middle and the high school. And we have loved every minute of being here in Amherst. We, it was everything we expected it to be. Um, that's part of the reason why I'm running. I feel it's incumbent upon me to give back to the community. In fact, since I've come back in the late 90s, that's what I've been doing in terms of serving on town boards and committees. Abby uh, Corin, my wife, has uh, worked for community theater. She was a learning aide at Crocker Farm for a number of years, and she's worked for over 15 years at the Center for Extended Care uh, down the hill across from Big Y. So in terms of my experience, um, I have served on the Finance Committee during some lean budgetary times, during times when level departmental budgets were being proposed. Um, and I've always supported the schools in those lean times. I also supported the co-location plan uh, more recently for uh, Fort River and Wildwood. Um, I served on the planning board for a number of years, uh, several years as chair. And a lot of things happened on the planning board when I was there. Um, I don't have time to talk about them all, but I can highlight a few. We worked real hard to preserve the farmland conservation overlay. Uh, that district was under heavy legal challenge, constitutional challenge. And uh, we had some serious uh, fights about trying to improve that because there were some fears that our regulatory changes would uh, lead to a loss of farmland. To this day, I, I, I guess I'm proud to say that we didn't lose one acre of farmland due to those regulatory changes, and the, and the bylaw is stronger for it. Uh, we also worked very hard on affordable housing. We supported every zoning change related to affordable housing in town, uh, whether it was uh, money that was required from CPAC, the Community Preservation Act Committee, or if it was a rezoning of land so that affordable housing could be built. Uh, the planning board supported all of that. We also crafted the very first inclusionary zoning bylaw, which is related to mandating affordable units for apartments in certain parts of town. And I'll get back to that in a second. Um, we increased and improved recreational land in town during my tenure there. And uh, we did a number of other things there as well. We worked on the professional research park zone, which uh, was a tax base issue. We're trying to increase business buildings there to improve our tax base. I also worked for five years on the Hampshire um, uh, Council of Governments, which is the regional form of government we have here. And I was one of the lead counselors there working on early energy aggregation efforts. Um, as an attorney here, I act as special counsel to towns in Western Massachusetts on land use issues, smart zoning issues, green and walkable community initiatives. Um, and I also have served in the past as a planner for the city of Pittsfield during a period of heavy uh, revitalization for that city after GE left. And I've worked on, uh, for the American Farmland Trust as an economic planner where we analyze different types of land use and, and the revenues that come and flow from those types of land. Uh, so all that experience I list here today, not to just list the experience, but to give you an indication of, of what I'm interested in, what I'm for, and what I will work for in the future. Um, and we have a bright future here in Amherst. We have a very bright future if we come together and, and do it collaboratively with consensus. So in terms of the future, I've heard a number of issues that people are concerned about. Obviously, the schools are one. And I wanted to just uh, talk about that briefly. I supported the co-location project, and I will engage, deeply engage, in the process moving forward. It's difficult to say what that proposal will be but I will make sure that I am up to speed and ready to vote on a bond authorization when the time comes. Um, in terms of the center of town, which is also another issue that people are concerned about, and I'm referring now to the new construction, new buildings, uh, there's a proposal out there about uh, for a building moratorium while we, while we settle things, and I'm opposed to that. I'll just put that out on the table. I don't think that that's the right way to go. There's some legal issues there that I won't talk about, I'm opposed to it because I think politically it would lead to a fight, and I'm not about fighting. I want to work with consensus and collaboration, 
And if you elect me, that's what you'll get on the council. Thanks for watching.